Creating the subdivision. In the MicroStation Connect edition, there are a host of placement tools that allow you to create new drawing elements efficiently and accurately using tools such as Place Smart Line, Place Circle, Create Region, and others. In this section, you will utilize the Place Smart Line tool along with the aid of AccuDraw for precision placement of lines, which will make up the subdivision for your project. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn Place Smart Line and Place Line, Precision Input via AccuDraw, and Utilize AccuDraw Shortcuts. Precision Input is a method of entering data points within MicroStation. Using this method, you can specify the exact location of a data point by specifying any of the following. Design Plane Coordinates, the distances along the x-axis and y-axis, and z-axis in 3D from the global origin, which has the coordinates 0, 0, or in 3D, 0, 0, 0. Distance, an angle relative to the view x-axis from the most recently entered tentative point or data point. Distances along the design plane axes from the most recently entered tentative or data point distances along the view axes from the most recently entered tentative point or data point. In this exercise, you'll be placing property lines using bearing and distance. When keying in the bearing, you can use shift plus X to place the degree symbol. For example, south 34 degrees, 37 minutes, two seconds west for the angle. Let's begin by opening the proposed site plan DGN file. This is located in the folder MS Basic Civil DGN 04 Drawing with MicroStation. To begin the design of the subdivision's property boundary line, you will rotate the view to its default orientation to facilitate precision inputs. Along the view control bar, select the Rotate View tool. In the Tool Settings window, select Unrotated from the drop-down menu. This will unrotate the view relative to the world coordinate system. Set the active level to Property Line DP via the Level Picker. Hint, use the search field and type in Prop to truncate the level list. Next, make the Play Smart Line tool active. In the Play Smart Line tool settings window, disable the following options Join Elements and Rotate AccuDraw. Take note, AccuDraw typically rotates its compass such that the X axis aligns with the line that you just placed. Rather than turning off AccuDraw's context sensitivity feature, resulting in stopping this aligning behavior altogether, the Rotate AccuDraw settings affects only segments placed with the Place Smart Line tool. Begin creating the subdivision. With AccuDraw active, bring your cursor into the view and press the function key F11. Press the P on your keyboard. This will invoke the AccuDraw's precision pop-up menu. From here, you can either press the M key, P key, or graphically select the desired menu item from the pop-up. Pick the P point key in single menu item. This will bring up the data point key in window. From here, ensure that the absolute XY equals is selected from the drop down menu. Type into the field 440476.14 comma 1930210.61. Press enter on your keyboard to place the vertex. Now we are going to complete the first segment of the subdivision. Press the M key to toggle to the circular AccuDraw compass as needed. With the input focus, that is the highlighted field, in the distance field of the AccuDraw window, type 1206. Press the Tab key 
to shift the input focus into the angle field. Type in the angle as a bearing north 0 degrees 52 minutes 30 seconds west. Hint, as an alternative, MicroStation will generally convert the semicolon to a degree symbol automatically. However, for the purposes of this lesson, an actual degree symbol, shift 6, is being used. Issue a data point anywhere in the view to place the second vertex, completing the first segment of the subdivision. Now we are going to draw the second segment of the subdivision. The input focus should be in the angle field of the AccuDraw window, since that is the last value that we entered. If so, go ahead now and type in south 77 degrees 54 minutes 26 seconds west. Press the tab key to shift the input focus into the distance field. Type in 911.24. Issue a data point to place the next vertex, completing the second segment of the subdivision. Now that we completed the second segment, let's draw the remaining segments of the subdivision. For the third segment, type in 321.75 for the distance. Type south 34 degrees, 37 minutes, 2 seconds west for the angle. Data point to place the vertex. For the fourth segment, type in south 89 degrees, 7 minutes, 30 seconds west for the angle. For the distance, 249.64. Data point to place the vertex. Finally, type in 797.73 for the distance. Type south 0 degrees 52 minutes 30 seconds east for the angle. Issue a data point to place the last vertex. Reset to complete the subdivision. During this lesson, you learn to work with the smart line and place line tools, precision input via AccuDraw, and utilize AccuDraw shortcuts. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.